Good afternoon. The uh, officials decided to start this game right as I ran for the mid-game break. So we are back. And we are up. I'll get the clock started as soon as I can catch my breath. But we are about 15 seconds into this match. Sylvan on the attack. And foul called on Sylvan. We're about 30 seconds into this match. I'll get the clock in sync around the 39 minute mark or the one minute mark. Ball played wide. Martin can't get a foot on it. It'll be a Sylvan throw. Abbott Mitchell possesses the ball, plays it down the sideline to Griffin McCrory, who's on the run. Center. That Sylvan defender gets a foot on it and clears it. Kaufman steps in front of that attack. And Slicer maintains possession. Oh, foul on Slicer on the play. It'll be a Sylvan kick. Starting 11 for Valonia, a little late getting to it. It looks like we have Houston Frazier playing keeper with a back line of Sam Kaufman, Braden Solomon, and Case Bird. In the midfield, we have Clint Slicer, Zach Ussery, Jance Martin, and Ethan Partridge. And up top, we have Victor Garza, Griffin McCrory, and Abbott Mitchell. Partridge plays a through ball down the sideline. Sylvan able to get to it first. Looks to possess, but instead kicks it into touch. It'll be a throw in for Bologna. Throw into the box, headed out by Sylvan, and 14 for Sylvan possesses. And looks to move the field up the ball up the field. Mitchell steals the ball in the box, crosses, Clint Slicer. Looking for any flags or indication from the official. There is none. That'll go down as a Clint Slicer goal, care of Abbott Mitchell. Also, the clock continues to run through the dead ball. The official never crossed his arm, so the timekeeper never stopped the clock. So we lost a minute of that game. Valonia looking to get back on the board quickly. Centering pass from Partridge, headed out, and Sylvan looks to counter. Heavy foot by Sylvan there, but Valonia is the first one there. Frazier plays it out wide, but no one for Valonia there. So Sylvan will look to possess an attack. Frazier there, rounds it up, and the attack is prevented. Ball into Jance Martin as he comes down the sideline. Abbott Mitchell maintains possession, back heels it, but Sylvan defender very aware of what's going on. Ah, throw in for Valonia. Martin looks to throw it in. Nope, just kidding. It'll be Victor Garza. Garza down the sideline to a run, to a sprinting McCrory. 
McCrory taken down, but play on called. Kaufman gets a foot on it. But after a brief game of pinball, the ball goes out of play off of Sylvan, and Kaufman will have a throw in for Valonia. Corey pressures Sylvan down the sideline, earning Valonia a throw around 13 yards out from the baseline. Throw into the box to Abbott Mitchell. Corner awarded to Valonia. McCrory present and ready to take this touch. McCrory places the ball, surveys the field, Bologna sets up. In the air, into the keeper's hands. Good stop by Sylvan. Punt aired by Sylvan, but maintained by Solomon. Solomon to Partridge, McCrory centering. Partridge fighting for the ball, punched through into the box, off Valonia. That'll be a goal kick for Sylvan Hills. Entering tonight's match, Sylvan Hills enters tonight's match with a record of 3 8 and 1, 2 5 and 1 in conference. They're currently ranked 7th in the 5A Central. Bologna enters tonight's match 8-1-1 one, one, with a 7-1 conference record, which is good enough for a tie for second place with Pulaski Academy, who will face off against this Friday at Pulaski Academy. Throw in by Kaufman. Oh, Kaufman to Abbott off the back hill, and Garza thought he'd caught the keeper sleeping, and the keeper barely gets a mid on it. Pretty shot by Victor Garza. Sylvan ball into the corner. Ultimately played out wide, and the officials will award Sylvan Hills with a throw. Ball rolls out the baseline. It'll be a goal kick for Valonia. We're now inside 32 minutes remaining in the first half of this match. We are slightly out of sync with the field due to a error on the restart. We'll get synced back up as soon as we can. Oop, ball through on Sylvan, but Braden Solomon there to bail out the back line and clear that wide. It'll be a throw in for Sylvan Hills. Sylvan's getting some decent opportunities here in the first few minutes of this game. But Valonia's been able to answer the call every time. Let's see what happens this time. Sylvan right outside the box. And Zach Usry's there to resolve. Oh, uh, at some point, Junior Garza entered the game for Valonia. Sorry for not getting that called out at the time. Usry... Maintains possession, gets it to Victor. Garza puts it into the corner to a running McCrory. McCrory body to body with the Sylvan defender. Wins the ball. Sylvan has no choice but to play it out. And it'll be a throw in for Valonia. Throw in coming for Valonia. McCrory to Junior. McCrory centers it, and goal kick is awarded. Hey, 
there's the roar of thunder in the background. As Valonia drops it back to the keeper, Houston Frazier. Houston sends it up the sideline to Martin. Martin settles. Martin centers. And Ustery's pass intercepted. Sylvan plays into the corner. And Solomon comes in and clears it wide. That'll be a throw for Sylvan. Throw into the box. Skied into touch by Valonia. We'll have a throw for Sylvan. We are pretty syn synced back up with the game clock now. Only a second or two off, but I'll keep you abreast of the on-field clock. Valonia looking to turn the field. As Garza sends it out wide. Just to clear the trouble in the middle of the field, we'll have a Sylvan throw right around the 30-yard line. Sylvan's throw outside the box. Ussery <laughs> looks to clear, catches catches the catches the official. The official in a momentary panic goes to award a free kick and then remembers the restart is a drop ball. Garza looks to restart and sends it down. Oh, that ball bounces over the Sylvan defender, but the keeper at the top of the box corrals it. Mitchell looks to play that ball, but it's off his shoulder and into touch. We have a Sylvan throw around, mid, around midfield. Throw coming in for Sylvan. Martin steps in front of that long pass. And Garza corrals it. Garza to Martin. Martin to Bird. Bird to Garza. And Bologna turns. Garza to Partridge, down the line to McCrory. <laughs> and now McCrory has the throw. Garza in the box. Oh, look to center it. Junior just can't get to it. But for those who can't see, Martin in the corner. Oh, able to track it down. And Garza's header sails through the upright. Flowing with another golden opportunity, just unable to convert. And it'll be a goal kick for Sylvan Hill. That goal kick squirts through two or three lines of players before ultimately, oh, settled by Sylvan. Bologna now wins the ball back in a bad touch and the ball is down the sideline and Sylvan is scrambling the ball to get the get the ball out of their offense defensive third. Crossing pass by McCory there, unable quite to get to Martin. Garza looked to maybe have an opportunity there, opting instead to drop before it's getting turned over. But Sylvan Hills is unable to maintain possession, and Valonia in turn gives the ball right back. McCrory gets possession midfield, looks to send it wide. Martin gets a leg under it. Back to Martin, or back to Garza. Back to Martin. Uh oh, a little bit of miscommunication by Sylvan results in the ball getting played wide. And Partridge looks to maintain possession. Partridge 
just a little bit high and wide on that shot. It'll be a goal kick for Sylvan Hills. A little under 25 minutes remain in this first half, and Sylvan is making a couple substitutions during the stoppage in play. And Sylvan has a goal, click, goal kick. We have a throw in for Valonia. Kaufman thinks twice before hammering it down the sideline instead, opts to center it to Usri. Usri runs into some problem on the sideline, drops it to Slicer. Slicer sends it back down the sideline. Sylvan with a lucky stab, but then kicked harmlessly into touch. Kaufman to restart. Kaufman hammers it down the sideline, off of Sylvan's shoulder, and we have a Bologna throw in. Clint Slicer looks to put this ball in play, puts it in over the defender's head, but no one from Bologna making a run. That ball rolls harmlessly out the baseline, and we'll have a goal kick for Sylvan Hills. Corey plays that goal kick up into Abbott Mitchell, who is unable to maintain control. Bird plays it onto Usri. Usri maintains his footing and brings the ball upfield. Usri to Martin. Martin to Garza. Oh, and all keeper only had one option, and that was to slide out. Luckily, both players got there at the same time, and the official awards a goal kick to Sylvan. Us replays that header to McCrory. Sylvan able to just get a just to get their body on that one and stop the attack. Oh, wow. Okay, so Valonia bailed out there. Garza looked to make a centering pass to Mitchell, but instead got pulled down and a direct is awarded to Valonia. Looks like this direct will be happening somewhere around the football 18-yard line. Not quite sure at this point if it'll be... It looks like Slicer is opting to take this touch for Valonia. Um, basic math will tell you that wall is within 10 yards, but officials not asking for the, the pushback slicer shot. Oh, low, good shot. Just wide left. It'll goal kick for Sylvan Hills. Through ball by Sylvan with a good run by three from Sylvan Hills into the box. Bird applying pressure. Keeps his body between the defender and the ball, but that will be a corner kick for Sylvan Hills. For those who weren't tuned in for the girls game, I'd like to once again apologize. We have limited range of motion with our camera in this press box, so you will not be seeing these corner kicks. So you guys get to see the fun at the same time I do. Ball into play. Sylvan gets ahead on it, but high and over the crossbar. That uh, results in a goal kick for Bologna. Sam Kaufman opting to take this touch. Big touch by Sam Kaufman. It drops on the Sylvan 40 before a brief loose ball results in a Sylvan counterattack. Free ball in the midfield, tracked down by McCrory. Partridge on the sideline. Working hard, gets the ball 
but makes the play into touch. Throw in for Sylvan. Uh, Siri looks to slow down that ball from getting through by playing it out of play, resulting in a Valonia throw. Clint Slicer airs out on that uh, free ball. Who gets it to Garza? Garza to Martin. Martin looking to get a sprinting usery, but uh, Sylvan Hills is able to just get there. Looks like we will have Victor Garza taking this throw in for Valonia as uh, usery and Martin regain location. Oh, uh, Garza to Slicer. Back to Garza. Yeah, Tim McCrory, who is off on the on the touch. The ref caught it, and it'll be a free kick for Sylvan. Hard to get away with that one when you're standing right in front of the AR. But it's a good attempt nonetheless. Sylvan with a nice touch, centered. Struggle to maintain possession. Valonia gets a foot on it. Oh, played out wide. Three was unmarked. Looks to cross, but just a little too excited with that shot. Sends it wide left, and we'll have a Volonia goal kick. A little under 18 and a half minutes remaining in this half of the match. And for those who aren't present and aware, there is some weather in the area. And so they started this match. They started all our matches early tonight to try and make sure we got as much of this game played as possible. There has been some thunder rumbling here in the first half so there's a very real possibility that with AAA rules that if uh, dangerous weather is is identified in the second half the game is called immediately so you'll see a little bit more urgency from both teams trying to make sure that they have a lead and and uh, are in a position they want to be even as early as the half because there's no guarantee how much we'll get to play the second half all that being said, you have Valonia on an attack. You've got Abbott Mitchell bringing the ball up the middle of the field, plays it out wide to McCrory. McCrory is able to get to it, but just a second late as that ball goes out wide, and you have a Sylvan throw. <laughs> Sylvan fans calling for the handle. They didn't realize it was on them. And you'll have a Valonia free kick. <laughs> Coaching staff changing their mind multiple times about what is and isn't a handball, but what the ref called is handball on Sylvan. Slicer looks to take this touch. Sends a line drive down this line to Jance Martin. But Sylvan able to step in front and cause a deflection. Sylvan has ball, looks to put it into the corner, but just a little bit too much for their winger to get to, and we'll have a goal kick for Valonia. Kaufman has been able to put a pretty solid leg into most of his goal kicks tonight. Let's see if we can see another attempt to go long here. Big touch. Oh. Valonia possesses. Martin down the sideline to Mitchell. Call on as played. Valonia throw. Referee is opting to let the players play today as, uh, as the fans in the stands would like to yell. Let the players play. Let's see how that works out for the remainder of this game. Garza looks to put the ball in play, centers it to Abbott Mitchell. Mitchell drops back to Bird. Bird opens. Oh, doesn't. Deeks, Deeks the Sylvan player and now sets up for the attack with Clint Slicer. Slicer looks for a heavy cross, picked off by Sylvan. And 21 for Sylvan looks to press the advantage. Partridge slows him down. Kaufman stab just misses. But it's going to go off Kaufman, and it'll be a Sylvan throw. Valonia looks to to get back into their defensive positions. 
centering throw by Sylvan. And Kaufman's able to step in front of it and ultimately defect, deflects off Kaufman and we'll have a Sylvan throw. Referee allows for substitution at this time. As looks like number nine is leaving the field for number 14. I don't have a Sylvan roster in front of me, so I apologize for anyone looking for Sylvan names. I'll try to do my best to call out numbers as I can see them. I, uh, an unfortunate touch by Martin results in a Sylvan shot, but a, a leaping save by Houston Frazier. However, we do have a corner kick for Sylvan incoming. A little under 14 remaining. Cross off a of Sylvan player's head, off a of Sylvan player's head, off the off the inside of the post, but somehow not called a goal kick, and we'll have a Sylvan corner this side. I'll say the officials have a better view than I do, but nonetheless, corner coming, cross off the air, off some heads. Outside of the box, looks to center it again, and ultimately cleared by Ethan Partridge, I believe. Abbott Mitchell looks to win this ball in the midfield, slightly unable to. Martin Gars and McCrory play a little three-man ball. As Griffin sends it down the sideline, a bad touch by Sylvan, though. And they get bailed out by the ball, failing to leave the field. However, Gars is able to maintain possession. We have a drop to Solomon. Sylvan being very aggressive up top. Oh, we have Garza into the box to Partridge. Very late off call. I guess he was waiting to see if he, he got there. Off call nonetheless. And you have Sylvan trying to take an extra five yards on the off call. Ball centered, Valonia maintains possession. Garza out wide to Martin. Martin back to McCrory. McCrory looking for a quick decision. Tries to put a through ball to Garza. It's just not successful. Martin got some 14 on 14 action, but the ball finally played out loose. And Silva now has a foot race. Luckily, Braden Solomon able to get there first. Oh no, us three makes a, yeah. Official wanted to make sure Valonia didn't have the advantage there before calling the blatant foul on Sylvan Hills. It'll be a Valonia free kick from about the 20 yard line. Valonia has got to be careful. Sylvan is extra aggressive right now and that's going to result in a lot more contact than normal. But Valonia seems to be playing pretty well. Not one to shy away from contact. Ball played wide to Sylvan, and a touch, off three, and we'll have a Valonia throw. Martin fighting through some contact to get it to Usri. Usri to McCrory. McCrory across. Partridge is there, clearly on. One single touch. Oh, Able to get a shot, but just, I think it's a little wide or a little high. Either way, it's a goal kick. Sylvan looked to restart quickly. However, the ref blows the whistle dead and is allowing a substitution. So we'll have a goal kick restart for Sylvan Hills. Just a little over 10 minutes remaining in this first half. It's a one nothing game. Bologna up. Sylvan plays the ball out wide, into the box, 
Crossing shot off the football crossbar. Not a bad little look for Sylvan, but high. And a, and a goal kick for Valonia. We have a goal kick for Valonia. Opting to play out from the back this time. Try and take advantage of this Sylvan aggression. Solomon deeks 14 and gets the ball up to Partridge. Partridge down the line to Mitchell. Mitchell is just, oh, very good foot race, but ultimately Sylvan able to play it off Abbott, and it'll be a Sylvan throw. Throw in for Sylvan. Looking to press the advantage. Solomon gets a foot on it, plays it off a Sylvan player, and the refs agree. It'll be a throw in for Valonia. Kaufman looking to take this throw for Valonia. Sylvan, look, Sylvan looking to play a high press, and Kaufman just decides to air it out over everybody. Ref calls the foul on 21 for Sylvan, going over the back of Partridge, and it'll be a Valonia free kick from about the 30-yard line. Slicer <laughs> staring that ball, willing it to stop so he can play it. Is looking to take this touch. Big kick, centering pass. Sylvan able to get a head on it, but a Garza touch rolls to Abbott Mitchell. Mitchell to Partridge, to McCrory, touch into Garza. Sylvan having to struggle into their box to try and get rid of it. Ball played wide, and end to touch. It'll be a Valonia throw in. McCrory looking to take this throw and do something with it. You got Martin and Garza up top. You got us three, and he opts to drop down to Bird. Bird to Solomon. Solomon to Slicer, but a little wide, and Bologna unable to maintain possession. Kaufman a good step in front, and Slicer begins his run. Just can't get it over the, the mid's legs. And Sylvan looks to switch field and start their attack. Bird steps in front, knocks it out. Sylvan start, rethrow, that's... That ball is... Uh, Played into the box off Sylvan, off the top of Kaufman's head. Kaufman able to get there and <laughs> hammer it off number six's arm. It'll be a throw in for Valonia. Throw in Valonia with a little under 6.45 remaining in this first half. Ref blows a whistle, calls for substitutions. It looks like Valonia will have a substitution at this time. Clint Slicer's coming off the field, and Junior Garza is entering play for him. Looks like Abbott's dropping, Abbott Mitchell's dropping back into the midfield, and Junior Garza will go up top. Really good effort and minutes by Clint Slicer there. I'm sure this is just a breather. Kaufman, big throw through several players. Garza needs to continue pressuring as the keeper is well out of the box. He recovers. Oh, ball to part. Misplayed by Sylvan Partridge, just unable to get around him. But Bologna will have a throw in right around the 40. Kaufman puts it down the sideline and put back out of play by Sylvan. Bologna throw, 535 remaining. Cars are looking to make this throw. Drops to Kaufman off a of Sylvan player's head. Partridge flips it over. And now the ball into the box. Pinball, Partridge gets a leg onto it, but it looks like it's going to roll out harmlessly. AR points to the goal. Sylvan Hill goal kick.
that goal kick skips over two different players before ultimately getting controlled by Valonia. Solomon to Martin. Martin helicopters and ultimately drops it to Bird. Bird drops it to Frazier. Frazier's touch over the attacking Sylvan player before being corralled up by, yeah, before being corralled by Abbott Mitchell. He's fouled. It'll be a kick for Valonia. No ill will there. It's just legs got wrapped up as Abbott went to make a smooth turn. And we'll have a free kick for Valonia. Garza touches it up to Usri. Usri making a run. Usri and McCrory. McCrory surveying the field. Looks to corner it. And uh, the official states that it was off Valonia. A Sylvan throw with a brief pause for a substitution on the Sylvan side. We're now about 36 minutes, a little over 36 minutes into this half with a little under four minutes remaining. Score is Valonia 1, Sylvan Hill 0. Sylvan Hill throw coming as we restart play. Sylvan working to main to earn and maintain possession, but right now it's a little bit of a little bit of popcorn. Ball just bouncing back and forth between teams. No one really maintaining possession. Usri finally gets a leg on it, but it is depossessed. Bologna working hard to win the ball. Garza. Victor shot off a Victor shot off of a Sylvan defender. Junior maintains the ball. Garza ran through from behind, and that is going to be a foul nine out of ten times. We have a direct kick for Valonia. Is it going to be, it looks like, McCrory will take this kick for Valonia? Hard to tell when they're both standing right there. But, yeah, this looks like it will be a McCrory kick. Off a... <laughs> Touch shot off the, off the Sylvan wall and into the goal. That is a goal for Valonia. Griffin McCrory. Great field awareness, and Valonia goes up 2 nothing. We have 2 minutes and 23 seconds remaining in this first half, and Valonia went up 2 nothing. Sylvan restarts the ball with two minutes and 23 seconds remaining. There will be a second delay between the game clock and my clock as I don't have the greatest of technology running my clock right now. Abbott Mitchell wins the ball. Partridge looks to play the ball down the field. McCrory a little trouble handling the ball and Sylvan goes the other way. Martin and Bird seem to be stymieing three as he's attempting to try and make a run on the sideline. Kaufman makes a stab, but is just unable to get to it. And Solomon says, I've had enough, kicks it out the sideline. It'll be a Sylvan throw. Sylvan throw in coming here with about a minute 34 remaining. Ball into play, us repressures. Sylvan looking to figure out a way to get the ball centered and into the box. Solomon plays it off his head into the keeper. And Valonia pauses the threat. Frazier looking for a good touch here. The punt played high in the air. Played off a Sylvan head around the 40, their 40-yard 40 line before ultimately being sent back up. And Sylvan called again for a push in the back on the ball played in the air. McCrory drew that foul. Sylvan's not happy with the call, but referee is explaining his rules. And once he calls it, it's hard to get it overturned. For some reason, the clock stopped with a minute three on that. But we're going to – we'll let we'll let them – we have – we're under a minute remaining. Garza takes this free kick. Sends a hard into the box. Deflected off Junior to Martin, and he just can't get enough pressure on it. Ball into the keeper's hands. Sylvan looks to counter. Ball in the air. Garza turn gets a foot on it. Plays it off. 
Sylvan looking to get some kind of through ball. And Valonia is just able to get there. Kaufman gets the ball out. Please, for the call, doesn't get it. It'll be a Sylvan throw with 19 seconds remaining. Sylvan looking to get the ball into the box. Mitchell flies in the sky, tries to get it. And the Sylvan player jump, jump kicks the ball 15 yards over the, over the goal line. And that is the half. Your score at the half, Valonia 2, Sylvan Hills 0. Stay tuned. We'll have a short intermission, and we'll be back for the second half of play.
We have under a minute remaining on the halftime clock. But the officials look like they're ready to get this show on the road. There, if you take a look to the sky, it hard, it's hard, it doesn't translate well, but it is getting darker and rainier. Uh, for those who were paying attention when Sylvan Hills came to Valonia, Lightning did enter the area in the second half, and AAA rules state that Lightning in the second half of the game will terminate the game at that time. So uh, the first visible Lightning strike from our officials will result in this game being over. So it is of the utmost importance for Valonia here to hold on to this 2 nothing lead, to stay on top of things, and uh, obviously we're going to want to put more goals on in the second half. Um, but they've got to be prepared. This game could end at any second and don't want to put themselves in a position uh, that they don't want to be in because of weather. That's the halftime clock. The clock, fish, the clock operator puts 40 minutes on the clock. The center ref is ready to blow his whistle immediately, and he does. Sylvan Hill has the ball and drops. Junior guards with some initial high pressure, and Sylvan looks to flip the field. High ball play down the sideline to Case Bird, Case Bird to Abbott Mitchell to Usry, and Abbott holds and looks to attack. Ball back to Abbott Mitchell, drop to Braden Solomon, and Valonia looks to possess Kaufman with a quick touch to Partridge. Partridge back to Solomon. Solomon got the ball caught on his foot, but is able to maintain possession. Solomon eventually over to Partridge, or to Martin, excuse me. It's getting dark and I'm getting old. My vision's not where it used to be. And Abbott Mitchell begins his run down the field before stopping, slowing down, and dropping to Martin, who plays it back to Mitchell. Mitchell to Solomon. Solomon able to get a foot there. And Bird slowing down the attack. A, uh, a, a peewee soccer scrum results in the ball wide to Sylvan Hills. And Usher is able to tap it out. We'll have a corner coming up for, for Sylvan Hills at this time. Once again, we apologize. These windows don't open all the way, so we have limited range of motion. Corner coming for Sylvan Hills. Ball into play. Far post. Off a of Sylvan foot. Harm. The ball harmlessly hits his foot and goes wide. We have a goal kick for Bologna. Kaufman looks to take this kick. Kaufman looked to play it off short. Instead, chooses to play, shows play short wide other way. Solomon. Solomon down to Partridge. Sylvan able to get their foot on it, but not control it. We will have a Valonia throw in. Kaufman looking to take this throw for Valonia. Kaufman to Partridge, off the Sylvan players back to Usri, Usri to Mitchell, Mitchell surveying the field to Garza, Garza playing far sideline, and two for Sylvan Hills, plays the ball out, Garza has a throw to Usri, who's coming up the middle, Usri looks to center it, ball off of the Sylvan defender, Bologna is still pressuring, but it looks like Sylvan is able to clear. Mitchell, maintain, uh, Mitchell does win the ball and looks to maintain possession. Mitchell to Usri. Usri to Garza. Garza to Garza. And a defender able to just get a foot on to stop. Bird able to step in front. The ball centered, cleared. Solomon and Kaufman, a little bit of miscommunication before ultimately Solomon to Kaufman, to Partridge, to Kaufman, to the stands, and a Sylvan throw. Some lucky souvenir just got a, uh, or some lucky fan just got a souvenir. 
Unfortunately, this is high school soccer, so they had to return it to the ball girl. Meanwhile, in game action, Valonia maintains possession as Garza looks to attack. Oh, pretty shot off the outstretched hands of the keeper from Victor Garza. And with 3.54 remaining in the second half, Valonia goes up 3-0. Great, great play there by Valonia to maintain attack. And Garza with just a really pretty shot that even the keeper couldn't do anything with. Clock restarts. We're 351 into the second. 351 remaining in the second half. Kaufman gets a foot up. Drops to Partridge, but 14 with a very quick footwork takes the ball. Seven looking to do their best to maintain the possession and get some solid passes and attack. Just not been lucky enough to get that. Uh, Abbott Mitchell with a great flip around the defender, and now he's on a sideline run. He's now being marked by three different players. Gets hit really hard, and the official chooses to play on, which is a great opportunity for Valonia because Victor Garza gets the flip over. Clock stops. Goal awarded. Garza with his second goal in two minutes. And Valonia up 4 0. 35 10 remaining. Victor Garza settles this ball. Looks to play down the sideline, stopped by Sylvan. We have a throw for Valonia upcoming. And a delay of game from Sylvan. Sylvan starting to show some frustration after the two quick goals from Valonia. Garza maintains possession. <laughs> Drops to Solomon. Solomon feigns to Kaufman instead. Down to the sideline to Bird. Bird looks to press the advantage. Bird to, Mitch Bird to Mitchell. Mitchell through to Garza. Junior making his run. He's into the box. Looks to center it. Ultimately cleared by Sylvan Hills. That wide kick will result in a Valonia throw-in, which is a quick restart by Ethan Partridge into Abbott Mitchell. Abbott Mitchell looks to cross the field, but Sylvan's there and able to get a body on it. Uh, McCrory is able to win it and flip it over, but the keeper is the first one on the scene, and, and Sylvan has a goal kick, or has a punt. Sylvan just having a little bit struggle maintaining possession here as Valonia gets a throw. Kaufman to Partridge. Great deke by Abbott Mitchell, but Partridge's centering pass just a little too on the point, and the keeper picks it up. That punt by Sylvan, handled by Zach Usher in the midfield. And a good attempt by Ethan Partridge just can't quite get there. It'll result in a Sylvan throw. Sylvan throw coming at this time. Well, I'll take that back. We have a short substitution for Sylvan. Thirty-three minutes remaining in this half. Partridge heads the ball. Ball is ultimately played off Sylvan, resulting in a Valonia throw. Looks like Kaufman will be taking the throw for Valonia. Kaufman surveying the field. Tosses into the high and into the box. Misplayed by Sylvan, but no one there to punish, and they get the clear. Bird on ball. Plays the ball low and off the Sylvan attacker. And we'll have a Valonia throw. Bird looks to put the ball in play. Sends it up to Victor Garza. Off his shoulder. Junior not quite able to get there. And the ball is back to Bird. Bird to Martin. Martin 
looked like he was trying to go up the sideline to one of the Garzas, but no one was there, and it's got a Sylvan throw coming. <laughs> Sylvan plays that throw back into touch, and now we have Victor Garza, or Junior Garza, fighting for the ball, but ultimately just harmlessly playing the ball down the baseline. It'll be a Sylvan Hills goal kick. I'll go ahead and apologize in advance. Both Victor and Junior Garza are on the field at the same time in the same area of the field. I will mess that up more than once. Touch my McCrory. Good idea. Just played a little behind Partridge. You got a Sylvan throw. Kaufman looking to get this ball back into play for Valonia. Oh, got some feet getting wrangled, and the ball ultimately coming out to Vic, to, <laughs> to Griffin McCrory, whose left foot shot only stopped by the keeper. And we have a, a Sylvan restart. That punt sky to the air, played off Martin's foot around midfield, but Sylvan maintains possession. Sylvan looks to play a deep ball into the corner, but Bird's got a 10-yard lead and looks to Deke and does. Bird to Garza. Garza just can't get his body turned on that one. And the ball, it's called off. Oh, he got that off a Sylvan player. And we have a Valonia throw in. It does look like Ethan Partridge is just coming off the field to give himself a rest. Ryan Hale into the game, replacing him. Braden Solomon fighting for his life through three Sylvan attackers. And the ball ultimately deflected off Sylvan into touch. And it'll be a Valonia throw. Valonia is getting a sub at this time. Looks like Junior Garza will be leaving the field for Clint Slicer. Slicer had his, had his breather and he's back into the game. Valonia has a throw coming. Looks like Bird will be taking this throw for Valonia. Bird into Usri. Usri back to Bird. Yeah, ref finally kind of delayed. Wait to see what's happening there. Doesn't call in the foul on Sylvan. And it looks like Victor Garza will be taking this kick. Sends it up to McCrory. McCrory off his head to Mitchell. Mitchell settles. Puts the ball out wide to Ryan Hale. Ryan... Works hard, but is ultimately unable to get it. And it looks like it will be a Valonia throw. Valonia throw coming inside the 18-yard box. McCrory waves off Hale so he can take this throw. Ball short. Once again, apologize for the camera. It's not a lot we can do here. Sylvan does win the ball and looks to counter. Sylvan changes field, sends it far side, and now is looking to attack that direction before Bird slows things down up to Martin, who is depossessed around midfield. Sylvan has the ball around midfield, looking to put the ball up, just unable to at this point. Kaufman says, I'm tired, and throws the ball over us up here in the box. It'll be a Sylvan throw. Ryan Hale with some solid defense on 14 for Sylvan Hills. 16 for Sylvan looking just to play that ball into the box and see if they can't get anything going. And nothing's there. Usri looks to clear it out, just unsuccessful. And Sylvan has the ball back around the 30-yard line. Just looking to get to the ball into the box and cause problems. And Valonia has been pretty solid up until this point. Up oh, that ball played off the Sylvan player, off of Martin. It'll be a Sylvan throw. Looks like Sylvan has a substitution at this time as well. And now we'll have a Sylvan throw. There's 27 minutes, a little over 27 minutes remaining in this half. Bologna up 4 nothing. Garza takes a steal. Puts it to McCrory. McCrory 
puts a leading pass to Abbott Mitchell. Abbott able to get a foot on it, but the key the defender works hard and ball is in the Valonia. Tries to get a foot on it, cannot. Victor gets a foot on it, but it gets it off a Sylvan player. That'll be a corner kick for Valonia. Or Zach. Zach Gusser, correction. I, once again, my eyes are old. It's dark. And my vis my sight isn't much better than yours right now. <laughs> Luckily, I have, I have spotters helping me out here in the box. We have a corner coming up for Valonia nonetheless with about 26 and a half minutes remaining. That shot in. I believe that was Kaufman who came charging in, just misses, but the Sylvan Hill keeper maintains possession and skies the ball to about midfield. Bird slows the ball down, rolls it out. It'll have a Sylvan throw around midfield. Uh, a little unorthodox of a throw there, but Sylvan gets the ball in play. No call from the ref. Ball going down the sideline. Bird opting to wait and see if that's ever going to go out. It does. And we'll have a Valonia throw. Bird to Martin. Martin tries to play it off Sylvan to, with no success. And Victor Garza with the step in. Oh, Clint Slicer with some great movement. Oh, and a loose ball. Ryan Hale showing some speed. Gets to it. Center, nope. Defender gets a, gets a foot on it. Ball gets centered here. Griffin McCrory touches. Kind of a loose ball scramble, and the ball gets played out. Sylvan maintains and looks to, to attack. 19 for Sylvan. Touches down a running nine down the sideline unsuccessfully. Bird picks the ball up, puts the ball back in play, and Valonia turns. Garza to Mitchell to Garza. Garza shot just wide after a nice little uh, after a nice little scrum, and the ball does go off a Sylvan player, so we will have a Valonia corner. Corner coming up for Valonia. Valonia sets up top of the key. Looks to have a runner coming in. No one up short. Cross. Kaufman looks to get a body on it. Just misses. And, the, and a bit of deja vu. The keeper picks it up. And boots to midfield. Solomon plays the ball in the air. But ultimately possessed by Sylvan. Sylvan really looking for a through ball to try and maybe put a press on. And Valonia's just always been there. They may have to look for a different tactic if they hope to break this Valonia back line. Valonia, on the other hand, doing a good job of holding their lines and maintaining possession. Martin fights down the sideline. Ball is deflected off Martin, so we will have a Sylvan throw around midfield. And a couple substitutions for Sylvan at this time. We're now right over 23 minutes remaining in this match. Your score is Valonia 4, Sylvan Hill 0. Sylvan plays the ball in. Looks for a centering pass over everybody, but too strong. Frazier there. Frazier opts for a throw to Martin. Martin... Two touches it to McCrory. McCrory. McCrory up to Abbott Mitchell. Looking for a through pass to Garza, but I believe he might have been off, so he's probably better off that one going through. Sylvan saves the ball from going out and looks to center it. Junior put some pressure there and forces Sylvan to retreat momentarily. Oh, 
Hale and Ustery double team the Sylvan player and start their attack. Abbott with a great center here to Garza. McCrory out wide to Junior. He just can't get a foot on it. And now Sylvan's looking to, to push the other way. Sylvan centers up, 18 with the touch. Plays out wide. All these touches are just slightly behind each player, causing this attack to seem a little less effective. Usry with a slide tackle, just unable to get possession. And Sylvan maintains at midfield. Centers it into the box. Solomon off his head. Back to McCrory. McCrory out wide. I think he was counting on a hail run there that never came. And now we have a substitution for Sylvan Hills. 18 leaving the game for Sylvan Hills, two entering the field, and we'll have a throw in for Sylvan on the referee's restart. Um, Sylvan very bouncy on their throw ins. Um, not always 100% sure that they're establishing down foot, but the referee's not calling things, so I'll trust his judgment. Sylvan throw. Aired out. Junior plays it off his head to Martin. Martin to Vic. Vic to Junior. Junior to Vic. Vic sends wide to Hale. Hale to <laughs> McCrory. McCrory up and over to Abbott in the air. In the box. Played wide. Junior runs it down. Into the corner, looking to center, or if nothing else, draw some contact, and he gets it. That would be a corner upcoming for Valonia. They quick restart to Abbott Mitchell. Abbott crosses it. Oh, Garza looks to play it off the air. Is the call handle there? Or? I don't know. I think so. Hey, the referee saw something he didn't like, and it's a Sylvan Hill restart. Ball played by Kaufman in the air, takes two steps, goes with the Sylvan attacker. Now, I mean, that's right there. Sylvan, Sylvan player gets off with a foul call. McCory looking to set up and uh, make Sylvan pay. Takes a breather, waits for the official's whistle, puts it into the box. Keeper has to jump. And there's a save from Sylvan Hills. McCrory to Martin. Back to McCrory. We have a little 10 on 10 action in the midfield, but ultimately the ball gets to Garza. Garza to Mitchell. Just wide. Abbott Mitchell shot just a little wide. He was, looked like he was trying to get the back, ball back to Garza, but when the entire back line opted to chase Garza, he had an open shot and just a little wide on the touch. We have substitutions in for Valonia at this time. It looks like Noah Ortega into the game for who came out, Ryan Hale. Bologna attacking Noah High. Oh, centering pass to Victor just, just missed the opportunity. Sliding keeper prevents the ball from going anywhere. And now Bologna is retreating back to its third. A drop pass to Frazier. Frazier's touch. Centered up to Usry. Just a little bit too much for him. And Sylvan is now in the third looking to attack. They take a breather, drop, and now look to attack up the sideline, centering it again. And Usry's there. Two into shooting range for Sylvan. But Kaufman is there, and now Usry looks to counter. Usry continues his 
uh, play off the deflections. Usery to the 20. Out wide to Garza. Junior looks to center it to Victor. Victor flips over, does a floater, and the ball rolls out of the baseline. Please bear with us for a second. We have to make a quick technical activity or else we're going to lose our screen for multiple seconds at a multiple time. Feel free to send donations to the Valonia Soccer Booster Club so that we can get a new camera and don't have to worry about this going forward. All right, ball back in. Uh, ball played wide to Junior Garza. He just can't get it wide. He just can't get it. It rolls wide, and we have a throw in for Sylvan Hills. We're now under 17 minutes remaining, and we have a Sylvan Hill throw in deep in their, in their defensive third. Garza gets a foot on it, but it sneaks through regardless. Sylvan looks to press the advantage, deflection off Junior, and a Sylvan throw around midfield. Centering attempt from Sylvan Hills, stopped by Valonia. And ultimately, Usher is able to get a foot on it, but not enough to clear. Martin able to poke it away from the Sylvan Hills attacker, and ultimately taken by McCrory. McCrory takes a cleat off the ankle, comes up a little limp, but Houston Frazier is there to stop the shot. Valonia takes a breather, resets, and this punt by Frazier, shot down, lands about 45-yard line, caught by Abbott Mitchell to Noah Ortega. Mitchell on the sideline, able to get there first, flips it around the defender, into the box, shoved by uh, Sylvan to keep the attack from being successful, and it looks like the call is goal kick Sylvan Hills. We have a substitution for Valonia during this uh, stop for a goal kick. We have into the game Charlie Polcar in for Junior Garza. Ball in. Sylvan opting to play out from the back. Ball down the sideline. Played heavy, but ultimately Bird's able to get there. Solomon with a baby bicycle in the air and possessed by Sylvan. Bert feigns the big touch and instead gets to Usry, who gets it to McCrory. McCrory man on. And Kaufman, too, is just going full speed and getting some lucky bounces. And ultimately, the official decides that Kaufman is too physical. So we'll have a we'll have a free kick restart for Sylvan Hills. They'll be setting up just inside the 30 yard line. 13:40 remaining. Frazier's barking out orders, getting his wall set up. I'll say this: neither team looks super in a hurry to get going, but yet here we are. Two's touch in the air into the box. Wide right. No one from Sylvan able to get a foot on it or a head on it. And we have a goal kick for Bologna. Just over 13 minutes remaining, and Sam Kaufman looking to take this goal kick for Bologna as Sylvan continues to rotate in and out very frequently. It looks like Sylvan's opting to go with several players and trying to keep the freshest legs possible on the field. Bologna opts to play from the back. You got Solomon to Ortega to Usri. Usher to McCrory. McCrory attempting to get back down that sideline to Mitchell, just a Sylvan able to get a foot on it. Two for Sylvan possesses, and they look to attack. Through pass there by two to, of Sylvan, but Frazier quickly off the line, grabs the ball, and gives a restart with a throw. Sylvan looked to pick off that throw, but after a couple quick defects, Deflections, Jance Martin, ball upfield, Charlie Polcar centering 
to Victor. Victor to Griffin. Griffin to the corner. Charlie's fast, but he's not fast enough. The keeper's there. And Sylvan will look to restart. Sylvan's keeper opting to, to drop kick here. Ball high in the air. Played off number 10's foot for Sylvan Hill around the 40. And Sylvan looked to move the ball up the field, but Usri there to prevent. Give, give a lot of kudos to number two for Sylvan. He, he has a motor and it just doesn't stop. He seems to be everywhere right now, and Bologna needs to make sure they keep an eye on him. That being said, Bologna maintains possession off the punt. Garza plays through several shoves in the back, but advantage is called. Ball out wide to Polkar. Polkar loses the ball. And the wet field looks like it may be having an effect on some of these players as that ball went went wide. Frazier makes a quick run out. Sylvan throw. A lot going on right now. Trying to get my thoughts straight. And we have Sylvan throw. They drop. Look to possess. Sylvan with the ball. Mitchell... Pleads for the throw. Doesn't get it. AR, AR gave it to Valonia. CR said not today. So we'll have a Sylvan throw. And we have is that Gage Pope entering the game for Victor Garza. I believe. So that, if that's number four, Gage Pope into the game. Victor's getting a breather. We're down to our last ten minutes here. Um... Valonia up four. Both teams still playing hard. The weather does look like it is lightening a little bit. So we probably aren't at threat of this game getting called early. But weirder things have happened. Bird throws into Usri. Usri dropped to Bird. Bird dropped to Martin. Martin looks to center. Just a little high. And Sylvan boots it down the field. Kaufman skies. Gets shoved midair, but ref calls continuation. Bologna has the ball. Martin and two play ball at the same time. And Braden Solomon just decides to clear it out. That will be a corner kick for Sylvan. Corner kick for Sylvan down for nothing with just a little over nine minutes remaining in this match. Seven places the ball. They go for a short corner <laughs> and <laughs> immediately kick it into touch, I believe. And it will be a Valonia throw. It's either in, they kicked it into touch or he kicked it up into his hand and they're going to call I think they're going to call a handling. Nope, nope, throw. Throw for Valonia. They try to rush that corner and it resulted in the ball being immediately played back out of into touch. Bologna is able to center, given to Solomon. Solomon kicks it out, but Sylvan is back on the attack. Solomon winds up, gets a big touch, and Sylvan is able to stop this Bologna pressure. Usri gets a foot on it, but not a super great touch as the ball goes out of play. And we will have a Sylvan throw in. Ref decides to give everyone a breather as Sylvan once again rotates two new fresh players into the game. Uh, we also have a substitution for Valonia at this time. Abbott Mitchell is getting a break and Victor Garza is back into the game. Gage Pope steps in front of that, wins it before ultimately a little game of ping pong. Pope to Polkar. Polkar in, looking to get into the box, but the Sylvan defender quickly steps in, takes it away, and we're attacking down the sideline now for, for Sylvan Hills. Miscommunication, mistouch there by Sylvan results, and Charlie Polkar bringing the ball down the field. Look to get it 
to Garza, but just a little too aggressive. Still been able to step in front and possess it. Usri gets the ball to Ortega. Ortega drops, gives it to Usri. Usri maintaining possession. Ortega to Garza. Back to Ortega. Just not quite leading enough. Garza centers McCrory. McCrory to Garza. Ball gets settled, crossed in. And Sylvan looking to run the ball the length of the field, it appears. Eventually dropped. And Bird centers. And the ball is under control of Martin. Martin to McCrory. McCrory sends a cornering pass in. Polkar just not able to get to it quick enough. Oh, maybe he is. Polkar fighting with 22 for Sylvan on that sideline. Sylvan is successful in getting the ball out, except for the fact that Martin is there to take the pass and put it back up to Polkar. Polkar centering pass. And we have an off call. Wait, wait. Oh, he called a handle. I assumed from my vantage point that an off is being called, but if that's a handle, that's in the box, and this will be a Volonia penalty kick. Um, clock should be stopped. I believe the clock should be stopped here. He's not stopping the clock, though. Oh, now he is. Now he's stopping the clock. He's not. Well, he's calling for the clock to stop. The clock is not stopping. Gage, penalty kick. Off the post. And harmlessly out the sideline. It'll be a Sylvan throw in the corner. Pope with a strong touch just off the frame, though. Just just under five minutes remaining in this match, and Sylvan looking to do a counter here. Sylvan looking to be the aggressor here. Oh, but a miscommunication results and a ball played wide, and Valonia will be throwing this ball in. Bird saunters over to the sideline and gets the ball in to Martin. Martin back to Bird. Bird loses possession momentarily, but Martin's there to slow the attack. Sylvan looks to attack the center of the field now. Two for Sylvan looks to, to push. The ball gets played up to him. Ortega, first one on the scene, has to step in front of nine, kick it out the baseline, and we'll have a Sylvan corner kick. Corner kick coming in for Sylvan. We are, well, okay, now for some reason the clock stops or doesn't. I, I apologize, guys. There's some confusion here. But we have 350 remaining for Sylvan Hill. Sylvan corner coming up. Ball centered in and played out by Solomon. Now, Sylvan's there, ready to pick it up and put it back in, which they do. Ball deflects off of Solomon, so there will be another corner kick for Sylvan Hill, this time with 3.33 remaining. So, just something to keep in note. My clock's about three seconds ahead of the actual clock, so don't get your hopes up just yet. Corner kick coming from Sylvan. He sends the ball in, high, over, looking for the back post. Nothing there, no one there. Throw Valonia? Uh, we have a substitution for Valonia, which should result in the clock stopping, and it does. Victor uh, leaves the field for Junior Garza. Victor Garza leaves the field for Junior Garza, and Charlie, Parkour, Charlie Polkar leaves the field for Davin Partridge. We are now under three minutes remaining. Sylvan has the ball just outside the box. Ortega pokes it away, slows them down. They look to center. It, the rain is starting to just come down for this last three minute, last three sub three minutes. It's going to be, it's going to be fun out there. Ball centered. 
Usry gets a body on it before the ball is sent back out to the corner. Ball harmlessly centered straight to Houston Frazier. And we look to turn the tide. It is coming down right now. So everyone's got to be careful and play play hard, but play careful. Slick surfaces and all kinds of things going on. Follow all your shots. You never know what's going to happen out there. A chance of misplays are high right now. Two for Sylvan Hills. Settles the ball. Looks to get it under control and start their attack. And 22 for Sylvan or for Sylvan Ops just to play it high. And Kaufman slow header out. Sylvan Hills looking to make a throw here with a minute 45 remaining in the match. Ball in the three. And Sam Kaufman sends that ball almost into my reach. Um, we have a special thank you to, to uh, Clint's, Clint's father. Mr. Slicer, teacher at the high school, for getting that ball back into play quickly. Sylvan, meanwhile, is looking to make some things happen. And Noah Ortega steps in front of two. And, oh, gets the ball, flips it over. Un oh, he's awarded the throw. So Valonia maintains their attack with about a minute and seven minutes, minute and seven seconds remaining. Griffin McCrory comes over to take this throw. Surveys the field. Ball down the sideline, possessed by Sylvan, centered. Ussery steps in between. Refs decided he's just going to let this last 45 seconds play out as Sylvan centers it. Frazier carefully pulls that into his body, maintains possession. We have a stop in the game. What's going to happen here? It looks like, oh, yeah, number two for Sylvan Hills has been asked to leave the field receiving a yellow card. Nothing like waiting for the last 24 seconds to get one of those. So two is probably more than likely done for the night as there probably won't be another restart in the last 24 seconds. Nineteen. Seven. Well, okay, so. We're in our last 15 seconds. Frazier shot down the line. Griffin McCrory deadens the ball and then just sends it down the field. Davin's going to try and make something happen with this last five seconds, but I have to imagine the clock's just going to expire, and it does. And with that, this match is over. Valonia win.